what's going on guys today we're going to talk about some available bitter dragons um everything in here is going to be available i'm going to go over each individual one i'm going to take the measurement and also the weight and um the probable sex and i say probable because sometimes i can't get it wrong i'm usually pretty good with it but um it is instances that you can get it wrong because it's hard to tell for whatever reason some of them are very easy to tell um and some aren't but before we get into that, let's see what's going on in the reptile room. Uh, like I said, you guys, uh, I am uh, going to put the rest of the stuff from that other room in this area right here. Um, so I got to move this out of here first and then uh, bring those in here. But um, right now, I told you guys I was going to put all the 2023 babies over here, but I changed my mind. So I put my um, ornate uromastics in this bottom cage here. And then I'm going to put my 1.2 yellow geary eye in this top cage. I'm still setting it up. Um, right now I'm cleaning the, uh, the rocks and the logs that's going to go in here. And uh, they're currently in here. I'm going to move them to over there. And then I'm going to move my 1.1 um red geary eye into their cage and as you can see here i moved the 2023 babies into here and there they're having a field day you're running all over the place in here so i have two different um clutches in here i have a clutch from um damien and bianca and miracle and whip but like i said these guys are very personable very curious and um when you open the door they try to come out and greet you looking for food and stuff like that they do have some dry food in here to nibble on but out of curiosity they just come and jump on you you can see them actually thinking like what's going on what is this but it's gonna be a lot more fun to watch them in this bigger cage because they're a lot more active like I said, I'm looking for behaviors with all of them to try to see if I can start sexing at a younger age. So with this bigger cage, um, it'll be a little bit more easier to easier to do that. I just got to... This is plexiglass, so after a while, it started getting hard to see through it. So right now, it's kind of cloudy. So I'll probably replace it. Replace the plexiglass so I can see. And watch without them jumping out because these guys, as soon as the door open, watch. Even them seeing me here, they started going already. Look, they just jump up here. Let's try to do this. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna pause real fast so I can get this one. Let me close this real fast so they all jump up. I'm gonna pause real fast so I can get this little one. All right, got it. But yeah, like I said, they, they want to come out and play. And not, I don't know if it's playing, but they actually are very curious. They want to see what's going on out here. So that's what I did so far today. Um, and I separated my 2022 into two separate bins. They're going to be going over here as well. And uh, um, that bottom cage right there. And then the bearded dragons. I to, I have, I'm waiting for my lights to come in still. Um, I'm going to be putting, separating them into smaller groups. Um, into their soul so they can. Because I'm getting a little bit more bite marks on the tails and stuff like that. So to reduce that, I'm going to separate them into a little bit smaller groups. And as they ship out, I just continue to disperse them into the to smaller and smaller groups. But yeah, so like I said, so far I took the 2023 babies out, both the uh, both pairs, put them in there. So 17 babies in that cage. You can see they just having a field day in there, going crazy. And then I separated my 2022 babies. The two holdbacks. Um, those down there are 22 and 22 babies too. A little bit younger than those ones over there. But that's from the other pairing. And then I moved the ornates 
from where the babies are to right here. Um, the 1.2 gear yard is going to go in here once I finish cleaning the wood. Then um, the 1.1 red gear yard is going to go in their cage. You can see here. Those are the ones I already spoken for, the beauty dragons. Then I'm going to put this unit back in there. You can see it got one of those cages in there. That's what the um, 20, the um, second clutch of the 2022 babies were in. Um, so I got to clean that out, move this in here, and the other cage in here with the 1.1. This one right here, gear eye is going to go in there with that. And then I'm going to uh, stack the doobie bins on top of that when I get it in here. And the uh, other unit is going to go right here. And this is not going to be accessible for right now, but it's pretty much just for storage. So that's what I'm at so far. But now let's get to the, uh, look, look at my, look how beautiful he is. My red. Females under there. It's my red, um, Aki. But yeah, let me get the scale out. And as I weigh them and sex them, I'm going to put them in here. And um, if you guys are interested in anything, get a pen and paper right now. And just write it now. And then you can contact me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, or by email. And just tell me um, the genetics and the sex. And then I can tell you the price. Looking for a cup real fast, just a second. Cup over here. Making a mess. So what I'm going to do is just put the tape measure on about 8 inches because I know none of them are more than 8 inches. I know that none of them are more than 8 inches so I'm just going to put the tape measure on that amount for right now. Let me do like this, 10 inches. And that way I can... Put them on the scale. This one was uh, this one was actually almost purchased the other day. I had this one posted on Morph Market and on my Facebook and on Instagram as well. Why the camera so blurry? Okay, as I was saying, this one was almost sold. Somebody was showing a lot of interest in it. Um, hypo, genetic stripe, hundred percent head trans. Looks female. And a little over six inches. She does have a little bit of a bite mark on the tip of her nose. That will come off with the next shed and also on the tip of her tail. And that's what I was talking about. The reason I'm going to start put them into smaller groups. Oh, let me see how much she weighs. Currently 10.8 grams. Again, hypo, G stripe, head trans, 50% possible head with blood. And they're um, low content hybrid between Barbata and Vitisex. And then this one is Hypotrans Dunner. Male. And 
this one is. Six inches and is ten point one grams. Okay, again, that's Hypotrans Dunner six inches, ten point one gram male low content Barbata hybrid, hundred percent head. Oh, well, visual hypo in trans and 50% possible head with blitz. If you don't have any bite marks or anything. Here, we have hypo trans G strike dunner going into shed. You can see by the tail and the tip of the nose. Got a nice little side. Dark sidebars, probably going to look purple as an adult, purple or bluish. That was good for me, hold on. This one is male. About six inches as well. This one is 10.2 grams, 10.1, 10.2. And this one is Hypotrans G Stripe Dunner. A little bit of a bite mark on the tail should come off with the shed. It might have a little indention, but it's not going to lose any of the tail. Tail going into shed, or legs going into shed. And this one is, we can do the weight first before the scale cut off. 14.5. Fourteen point six grams. And that one is a little over a little over six inches, about six and a quarter. Again, that's hypotrans D stripe dunner. Male, I believe. Yeah, I can see the little red hemipene spots on it. And he was, what was he? 14.6. He one of the biggest ones in the clutch. 14.6 grams, six and a quarter inches. Hypotrans D stripe dunner. 50% possible head whiblet. We have this one. It's in a full body shed, but it is a light overall dragon. A little bit of a bite mark on the tail. And again, once it's shed, that color is going to go off of it. But it probably have a little indention there. This one is 13.4, 13.5. Male. This one plus six and a half inches. Again, that's a male hypo, hundred percent head trans, fifty percent possible head whiblet, low content barbata. Hybrid is six and a half inches, 
and 13.5 grams and it's a male yeah right here this one is going through the shed right now you can see it's shedding from the chin translucent g-stripe head hypo see a little bit of color in the nails there so I can get it to focus there we go so it's not visual hypo but it is 100% head hypo pretty much flawless going through a shed currently it does have an odd, like, purplish green color. A little bit of orange on that cheek, so it might get some orange color as an adult. But visually, it's a translucent G stripe. Non visual, it is 100% head hypo and 50% possible head um, with blip. It is a shed. It is a male as well. And that shed hanging right there. And this one is 11.6 grams. And a little over, barely over six inches. And we have another translucent. It has stripes, but I wouldn't consider this a G stripe. If you see how blown out it is, it can be, but yes, I can't really see the eyes if it's blasted. Might be G stripe. Let's see. Yeah, do it is a border on there. And so yeah, translucent G stripe, normal scale. Nice blue belly. This one don't have any flaws on it either. Tail going into the shed. This one has more of a barbado look to it. A little bit more narrow nose. Let me see the sex. It's a male as well. Like I said in the last video with the dragon, so he's pretty much male heavy. He's 10.7. And about six and a quarter inches. This is a nice G stripe right here, translucent Dunner G stripe. This is crazy. One of those is leather back. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, those are all normal scale. Alright, so, again, let me say that again. Translucent G-Strike Dunner. 100% at Hypo. Has a little bit of bite mark on the tail. Some male.
10.3 grams. And right at six inches. Translucent G Stripe Dunner 100% head hypo, 50% possible head with blade, low content Barbada. Male, 6 inches, 10 point, what was it, 10.1 grams? 10.3. There's another Dunner G Stripe, light base. Like it's gonna have orange highlights. This one is 100% head hypo, 100% head trans, G stripe dunner, male. Low content Barbada, 50% possible head with blit. 10.5 grams. Uh, about five and three quarters inches. We got this one, the first leather back, and a group that's left. Got a couple bite marks on the tip of the tail. Like I said, it's not um, so much that it's going to come off, but it might have indentions on the tip. But you can see like a little bit of that blue in the middle of the, of the stripe and then the blown out sides. This is a Hypotrans Thunderbolt. And it is a donor, I could tell now. So it's the same as the one that's already sold. I can see the spikes on the tail. Yeah, for sure. So it's the same as the one that I already sold. It's a Hypotrans. Hypotrans. Thunderbolt Dunner, 50% possible head wheel blit in this low content Barbata. This is one of the smaller ones in the crutch clutch, so I probably won't let this one go yet. It's probably like mines, 9 grams, 8.3. When I get around 10, I'll let it go. And it's about 5 and 3 quarters long. Six. I ain't gonna even six it. I'm pretty sure it's a male. Because the other one is a female. Yeah, male. You can put a deposit on it if you want to, though. I won't ship it until it's over 10 grams. So, if you're interested, it's um, Hypotrans, Leatherback, Donner, Thunderbolt, 50% possible head with blit, and it's um, low content Barbada.
This is another one of the bigger ones in the clutch. It's in a full body shed. Very nice orange color. It has, some, it has that snout of like a Barbados as well. You can't really see the stripes right now. Sort of, kind of. But this one of the bigger ones in the clutch. So, Hypotrans G Stripe. 50% possible head with blit. Look like female. Yeah, I'm gonna say this one is about 12 grams, maybe 13. Keep doing it too early. It's over 14 grams. 14.4 grams. And six and a half inches. Got a little bitty tiny bit of a bite on the tip. I actually got some shed that I need to take off of there. And female, female hypotrans G stripe. 50% possible head with blit. And last but not least, this weird ball right here. Almost looks like purple. Purple got like what the heck going on? This one is translucent leatherback G stripe. No dunner. So yeah, translucent leatherback G stripe. Hundred percent head hypo. Fifty percent possible head wiggle it. Super six. Come on, come on, look at the little ear stripe, a couple of them got it, that's a male for sure. Eleven point one grand. Yeah, about sixteen, about six and a half quarter inches. Translucent leather bag G stripe. Male, eleven point one grand. He's low content Barbada hybrid, 100% head hypo, 50% possible head whip blit. Has an odd look to him. Be a nice pickup for somebody. I uh, hope you guys. Uh, wrote post down if you're interested just send me what it is and I can send you the price and when I send you the price it's going to include the shipping cost so whatever I send you that's all you have to pay
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here so I can hurry up and um, get everything moved over to this room and start the new journey. Again, hopefully in about two years, I'll be back doing Bearded Dragons after those are sold. Uh, possibly happen sooner than that if other things happen faster. But for right now, let me get to work. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look, those babies over there just going crazy. We love in that bigger cage. I can see behaviors already. Some of them head bobbing. <laughs> they go like crazy. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, I'm out. Peace.